<sighs> What's happened? Nothing. Mind your own business. Mm, I would, but you have a way of pulling me into your business. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Wasn't James keen to ask you out? Because if you had mascara running down your face, as you do now, I'd understand why he wasn't. I don't want to talk about it. Look, he is keen, and he likes you. I know this because I tried to convince him not to appreciate you for his sanity. I know he likes me, okay? You don't have to remind me. Then tell me what went wrong. You offered him sex, didn't you? Ew, no. You're such an asshole. Well, you have a fascinating history for doing that. I messed up. Oh, look, calm yourself. And I'll make us some popcorn so I can hear this riveting downfall. You're a dick. Were you too needy? No, and I've never been. <clears throat> I'd like to defer. I haven't. Abby, we're best pals, and I know the entire history of your behavior. You're so annoying. Hey, I tried to find a mental specialist to wipe my brain of it. I did something stupid. Like wearing this dress that I told you not to? I know, you're a fool and I'm always right. Isn't that the story of our lives? Not that. And James did like this dress. Oh, is that what the issue was? He was blind and stupid and you thought there's only room for one of those in my life. Me, the Fabiola. <sighs> what did you do then? You might judge. Yeah, but I'm always judging you. I thought you were used to that already. Okay. So I went to the art event looking this damn sexy. Okay, stop right there. I want to laugh, but I sense I might hurt your feelings. Wait, hang on. That's not such a bad thing, is it? I do it all the time anyway. <laughs> anyway, I was confident and vocal. Great. And then you sank like the Titanic? Say you did. This story's starting to get stale and we need a twist to stop me from falling asleep. So, I saw him talking to Nancy. Your bitter enemy. Damn it, why didn't I make that popcorn? This event is so gripping. I did nothing wrong to her. I didn't rip off Nancy's head for talking to James. Well, I'm glad you were mature enough not to. I mean, I'd like to believe in your shoes I'd do the same, but hey, come on. You know me. I so wouldn't. Can you be mature for a change? Fine. I'm glad you were nice about it. I circled the room. Whilst keeping an eye on him? Did the eyes wander down to his crotch to see if Nancy was turning him on? Oh, oh wait, I know the answer to that one. You are the sickest person to know me so well. Damn, I hate you so much. <laughs> well, what happened next? I got a drink to calm my nerves. Not too much, I hope. Although that said, I mean, where the frickin' hell's the fun in that? I'd be drunk now if I did, wouldn't I? <coughs> Fine. Three vodka shots, but I wasn't drunk. <sighs> if only we had vodka now so I could take the edge off of this chat. That'd be something, huh? Nancy walked away. Is that when you attacked like a lion on a baby gazelle's juicy neck? Well... That's a note of beefsteaks I was planning to have tonight. Hmm, fun story. I actually had them on your behalf. I didn't attack. Three girls walked up to James, and one of them made him laugh. Ah, the cheek. Did the eyes linger down south again? No comment. Well, that's a yes. Anyway, Miriam walked over to me, and we started chatting. She was talking about her Craig coming out. Seriously? Is Craig gay? Wow. Good for him. I should call him to congratulate him. Yeah, you should. But Miriam tells me that he's always had a crush on you. Er, maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, Miriam saw me looking at James. Breaking news, Justin. This portion of the story is getting very, very dull, Abby. Get to the all the lives are on the line moment. <sighs> Did she upset you? I could send her death threats to avenge you. She didn't say anything crazy. 
Mm, can I send the death threats anyway? I've already programmed the idea in my head. She just went more in depth about James' wife dying. Well, were you sympathetic and respectful? But don't answer that before I have my fingers crossed. I'm hoping for the opposite. Yes, I'm not a moron. Is that the lies you tell yourself to make you not have to live with the fact that you're a moron? I mean, I can't say a word because you look like you want to murder me and I need to shut up, so I will. Dumbo. Well, you say a lot of dumb stuff. I didn't. I just asked a few questions. Just to know more, so I was prepared. What did you do, Abby? Nothing, I promise you. What the heck did you do? I asked Miriam what James' wife died of. Oh, no. D d do you know how hard I worked to put you within a chance of wrecking this? And you have. And I am clueless as to why I'm angry. Huh. Why am I mad? I know you worked hard to get him to see me, but I messed up. Hun, I don't care anymore. It's a touchy subject for James. You should have known better. I should laugh at that hot mess out of my lips. I know. I'm the vilest dick on the planet. Well, I, I wouldn't go that far. Well, just not yet anyway. All right, let's see. What happened next? Miriam told me she died of an overdose. If this goes where I think it's going... I'm sorry. Shower. Now. No, please. Don't judge me. Abby, I need to deal with this. Have a shower, and I promise when you come out, this thing would have been handled. I hope I might want to offend James further for my amusement. Ah, we'll have to see how good-spirited I am. Are you sure? Yes. Go. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna have to fucking handle it, won't I? I'm sorry. Just go. Okay, let's fix this hot mess. Okay, and then... Pick up, pick up, pick up. James, it's Fabiola, the wonder horse of the North Gods. Yeah, the immature friend of Abby. Uh, don't, don't, don't hang up. Please, buddy, please. I I'm desperate here. I know, I know. I know, she shouldn't have brought up her name at the event. She what? She asked you killed her. I am so sorry, but that is... That's unspeakable of her to do that. But, well, I mean, but did you? Okay, okay, okay. All right, look, I'll, I'll scold her for that later. But I was hoping you could listen to me for a second. No, 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 no listen, listen. No, no, you will fucking listen to me for a second. Oh, not you worked. Anyway, sorry, look, look, just... Sit the fuck down. Okay. Oh, damn it, that didn't... Listen, I know that Abby's... Okay, great. Thank you. And Tiger wins another major. I want to say something. Abby... No, I want to say something. Let me speak, please. Fine, go ahead. The floor is all yours. <sighs> I should have been more focused. Before the event, you run me through all the topics I should avoid. And I was stupid enough not to listen to your thoughts. Mm, you were stupid. And I'm a genius. I talk sense, but more importantly, I'm a genius. But you have to understand at the moment. I lost track of what I was doing. All right, listen, silly. I get it. It would be best if you took everything I say as gospel, though. You know, blah, 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 everything, every word I say. That's not what I was going to say. Well, you bloody should anyway. Say you will as a test run for future events. Yeah, I really shouldn't. I should learn to make up my mind on shit. Ah, the intern taught the masters so well. But hang on, shouldn't it be... Ah, I don't want the liability, so... Yeah, I'm good. You're a dick. I have some news regarding James. 
don't tell me you spoke to him. Oh, no, don't say it. He hates me, doesn't he? I'll never get to ride him. I'll die an old lady without sleeping with the man of my dreams. I'll have to buy cats and look after them. I'll buy seven of them. I'll die old and they'll eat me alive. Oh, gosh. I hate today so much. I hate everything about this world. Everything. You done? I got him to say he'll give you another chance. How the heck did you manage to do that? Uh, you know, a little bit of this and a little of that. I don't know. Well, next time you see James, ask him for my future reference. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a joke. Good one. <laughs> like, James the God could ever really like me. Yeah, right. I mean, look at me. I'm ugly and a freaking bookworm. Who on earth would be stupid enough to even try to have sex with someone who reads for pleasure? Yep, I'll die all alone. I then got him to admit he wants to take you out to dinner tomorrow night. Shut up! Seriously? He wants to take me out? James, the athlete, soon to be my sex god, wants to take me out? This chick? Yes, Abby. He wants to take you out, my darling. What are the conditions? Just one tiny one. What? Tell me. That you don't ever mention his wife's death. Due to today's drama, I demand you do, so I get to witness more of it. I won't mention her again. There's another condition. What? You know what? I am not letting you pick out what I wear. Those are the conditions. Take it, or I call James and cancel. Although, that seems like work, and I'm not too fond of work. You wouldn't. Watch me. Oh, here comes the phone. I'm scrolling through my numbers. Damn, I should have your number on here. I want to choose what I wear. You have terrible taste. Just let me do it. I have five sisters. I know every style you could imagine. What you wear is not a style. Give me some control, woman. Fine. You get to pick on my outfit. Happy? You know it. Thank you. Hey, what are best pals for? Are you still on the train of not wanting to date anyone? Oh, <laughs> you are not setting me up with your woman friends. They're all too needy. Come on, let me return the favor. No. Have you eaten? Should I order a pizza? I'm freaking starving. All they had at the event was hors d'oeuvres. Are we vegetarian today, or...? I'll have the meat special. It is coming right up. I love you. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. <laughs> you want to gag after saying that, right? Yeah, a little bit. I just don't know why. 